in 2004 with melanoma skin cancer. In 2006, uh, a spot was found on my kidney and my liver. Um, and I was at that time given six months to a year to live. Um, I was offered the one treatment they had at the cross, which I was told by my oncologist most likely wouldn't work. Uh, I took the treatment and it didn't work. So that was one year of going through that treatment. At that time, they had just started a clinical trial, which I was uh, available to participate in. So I took the clinical trial at the cross and um, that was all of 2008. And it has seemed to have worked. It, um, the spots disappeared. I had a couple spots show up on my lung as well. Um, everything has disappeared and there's been no recurrence. And my oncologist doesn't think that there will be a recurrence. I shouldn't have lived this long to begin with. I shouldn't have made it past a year. I shouldn't have lived past two years. And to be five years out, there's maybe 3% of people who get to live to the five year mark. Um, and I'm well past that now, so very lucky. It put a lot of things in perspective in a hurry, sitting in a room being told that you maybe have six months to a year to live. And I realized in a hurry what was important and what wasn't. And it's amazing how um, just the little things, just spending time with your family, that's, that's the first thing I thought of is I may never get to spend time with my wife. At the time, we didn't have a daughter. We weren't supposed to have kids. We weren't supposed to be able to have kids after this diagnosis and all the treatments that I was on. Um, 31 and 32 to be, I mean, just married two months and you think you have your whole life in front of you and then all of a sudden just go in for a routine checkup and now you just have to decide within a weekend if you want to take chemotherapy to maybe save your life, but it probably won't save your life and you might not be here the next year at this time. So stay positive. Uh, surround yourself with positive people. Um, nativity and petty things, uh, it's a waste of time. It doesn't do you any good. Um, I used to get up at sometimes at little things that, that like tedious and it's just, it's a waste of time. It doesn't, I don't think it does you any good. Um, get active, be out there, move around, exercise, do as much as you can with whatever, if you're going through a treatment or if you have treatments upcoming. Um, just be positive and there is, if it doesn't seem like there's hope or it doesn't seem like there's chance, there is, there always is. Just keep moving forward, don't quit. Um, yeah, like some other people, I wasn't really too familiar with World Cancer Day, um, but I think it's important. Uh, I think it's, if it helps with fundraising, if it helps with making awareness, uh, then we need World Cancer Day. It needs to be around, it needs to be heard. Uh, the more people that know about it, the more people that understand what it's about. Uh, if it brings, it saves just one life or it brings money for one research position or for one new drug to be tried to save someone's life, then I'm all for World Cancer Day. That would be fantastic.